Alan, tell us about Muzzle. Yes. So Muzzle is the story of, uh, let me grab it here, the story of Jake, Jake Rosser, played by Aaron Eckert. He is a cop. He's a former veteran. He suffers from PTSD, uh, but he's a cop with the canine unit. Uh, and his his uh, dog uh, during an investigation of uh, of a drug smuggling incident um, is blown up, and so the dog dies. Thus, thus thrusting poor Jake into further depths of PTSD, um, and and possibly uh, a cover up, uh, some some police corruption going on here. Um, his uh, his boss is Leland, played by Stephen Lang. Uh, he tells him that he needs to get off his butt, get back on the job. Do a little bit of therapy and get a new dog, and uh, and he gets a new dog. The dog's name is Socks, uh, but the dog also suffers from PTSD. And soon we find out that the dog uh, may have been involved in the very crime that killed his first partner. Um, so the, the you know the the way I walked away from Muzzle is basically, you know, we've seen Hollywood do movies like this. This is a much grittier, darker indie version of those movies of. Uh, a cop and his dog um it's it you know the idea that this is about the the cop and his dog and this loving relationship there's elements of that but it's very gritty in terms of you know the, he has to figure out you know what is causing uh, his new partner socks to her her ptsd um and in doing so uh you know unravels police corruption going on here and so, uh, you know, I would say it's a it's a very different, very grittier take on the whole uh, canine cop uh, story genre, story trope. And so, you know, mild recommendation. I, I think, uh, you know, it is an indie film. And so uh, we tend to elevate those a little bit. Um, you know, I think, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of a mid a mid police cop story there. So. That was that's muzzle. So, uh, do you, question: If you're a dog lover, will you love muzzle more than say if you're not a dog lover? I would say uh, you know dogs get hurt in this one, and uh, it's not oh, wow. uh, cute. Cute is not a word I'm going to associate with this with this story. Ooh, okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I I like the fact that it's it's a different take on it. It's not Turner and Hooch. Uh, no, it, it tries to be not only a little more authentic, but more on the darker side of things. Mm, okay. 